In the last part of the Connect 4 series, we added the GetX package as a dependency and created a game controller which holds all of the game logic. The UI already receives the current state from the controller. The board column widget receives a list of integers which is saved in the variable column of player chips. But currently our cells are not yet able to show different kind of colors depending on the integer values that are saved within this list. In order to achieve this, we have to pass the integers through the constructor and inside our cell widget, we have to evaluate the passed in integer and translate them into a state. We have three kinds of integers that have to be translated. Zero stands for empty, one stands for yellow and two stands for red. So let's get into some syntactical operations and add this kind of behavior. As a quick reminder, we have our game controller. This one holds a board variable, which is a list of list of integers. And inside of these integer lists are six zeros. Inside of our board widget, we call this method build board, where we map each of these lists into a board column widget and pass each of these lists through the constructor. And inside the board column widget, we map all of those integers to a cell. But at the moment, we don't pass the number into the cell. So let's do that in order to give the cell the ability to show different kind of colors. Inside the cell.dart, let's create an enum cell mode with empty yellow and red. This one has to be passed through the constructor and saved in the variable current cell mode. Let's make this required. And now we need a new method which returns a coin, build coin. And this one checks the current cell mode and if the current cell mode equals yellow then of course we return a coin which holds the color of yellow in the case we have a cell mode of red we do the same thing but the coin now has the color red and if it is either yellow or red we just return a coin with the coin color of white, which represents an empty cell. And now the coin color depends on which kind of integer value is passed in. Let's save that. Inside our board column.dart, we don't pass an empty cell. If the number equals one, we return a cell with a current cell mode of cell mode yellow. If the number equals two, we return a cell with the current cell mode of red. And if it is either yellow or red, we take the current cell mode empty. Save that. And now when we change this to one, so this is our first column. And if we change, the, change this and save it and restart the app, then you can see the first column is completely yellow. Let's check what happens if we instead passed only two ones and four zeros. As you can see now, our column does start at the top, which is wrong. And in order to change that, we just have to go into our board column and in front of our map statement, we type reversed. Now our column starts from the bottom. The board is now able to display different colors depending on the integers that are provided. So next let's add a functionality which enables us to insert coins to a certain board column by clicking on it. Inside our game controller we create a boolean to know which player's turn it is. So rx bool turn yellow. This is by default true 
and it's an observable variable. Let's create a getter for that. Turn yellow, which returns the value of turn yellow. And now we can create a method play column. This one will get an integer column number. So we would like to know which column of the board is played and this is the index. So we can pass zero to six. Get the column from the board. Now we have to check if there are still empty cells inside the column to insert a coin or if the column is full. So we check if the selected column contains zero. If not, we know the column is full. Then we check for the first appearance of this zero and save the index. And now that we have the index of the next empty cell, we want to save the player's number inside of it. So either one or two, depending on which turn it is. Let's create another variable int player number and if turn yellow is true then we save one and if not we save two and then we insert the new number inside the board and if yellow has inserted a coin of course the turn yellow variable has to turn false so we just take the opposite value now let's remove this one save the whole thing restart the app we are still not able to insert any coins and that's because we have to first use the play column method inside the ui so for our board column we want to wrap that inside a gesture detector and this one should react on a tap and if we tap the column then we want the game controller play column method and we want to pass a column number but at the moment our column doesn't have any number so this is also something that we have to add so let's create another variable of int column number which also has to be passed through the constructor and this one is also required and inside the board there of course we have to pass the numbers from 0 to 6 so let's create an integer current column number and it starts with 0 and then the column number gets passed in and we increment it. Let's go back to our bot column widget and now we have an error of course because we need this kind of syntax. Save it. Let's test if it is working. I am clicking but nothing happens. Let's hot reload. So the UI is not reactive at the moment. So let's change two more things. First inside our board we wrap the row inside of a get builder widget of game controller and this one gets a builder so now let's save that and inside the game controller we have to call the update function in order to rebuild the ui and if we click now now you can see we can insert the coins and they are also changing so this works perfectly fine. Let's add one more thing in this video. If the board column is full, then of course we would like to see something like an error message or a get snack bar, which tells us that this column is full and we need to choose another column. So let's save that. And if we continue playing and insert, now we get this wonderful snack bar perfect i forgot one more thing i'd like to show which player turn it is inside the app bar so let's go into our game screen and instead of showing just a text widget we need an obx widget 
which we get from the getx package. And here we need a builder that builds a text. And inside this text, we want to make use of our turn yellow variable of our game controller. So let's add the game controller at the top, import it. And here we want the game controllers turn yellow variable. And if this is true, then we show player yellow. And if it is false, then we show player red and this styling and save it. And now you can see, we can see now which player turn it is. In the next part of this series, we write the logic that will check if we have four coins of the same color, either horizontally or vertically ordered. If you like this video, I appreciate any kind of feedback, so leave me your thoughts in the comment section. I hope you enjoyed the video and what else can I say? Have a nice day and hopefully we'll see us until the next video.